Hello friends. In this video, I will show you how you can create a custom authentication system in Laravel. You can always use Bridge or Jetstream in Laravel for authentication. But in this topic, it's a custom login authentication login system in Laravel. So basically, you will see registration, login, change password, forget password and logout in this application. So let's see how this application will look like. Just a simple web page where it is a home page is coming here and login and registration. These are the two buttons. So if I click on registration. So registration I have entered and clicked on create my account. It will send a verification email to the email ID. A verification email is sent. So I have set up MailTrap account for this uh, demo. So you can just see email verification email has come here. I click this verify email. So email is verified and it's logged in. I log out and then log in. So it's logged in. I can change password. So my old password was 123456. I change it to 123456.7. Just for verification, I give incorrect. I mean new password and confirm password different. So it validates. I give again password successfully change. Then I log out. Now forget password. So I click on forget password. So it's asking for email ID. If I give any email ID, let's see. Email ID is invalid because it's not registered. So I give a registered email ID. Here we can see I email has been sent to the registered email ID. Now let's see. I go to my MailTrap account, reset password link has come here, click on it, then give the email ID. So I have, since I am resetting password, so I give a new password here. So your password is changed, it's successfully reset. So these are the option we can use in the custom authentication system in Laravel. So let's see how we can develop this. So what I have done, I created a database, Lara user and created an extra table here, user token to store the token for the user ID when user email is to be verified. And rest all are Laravel default tables. Then I updated the env file here for the database name. For my mail trap account, I have updated the details here. You will get this from mail trap account. If you have already a mail trap account, you can use that. Like here, if I go here, my mailbox show credentials. If you click on show credentials, it will show you the details and you just take this copy this and paste it in .env file. If you look at migration here, user token table I have created, it's a new token table where I am storing a token here for the user ID and it's coming from user ID, it's a foreign key uh, relationship is there from the users table. Then once it's migrated using PHP artisan migrate, it's migrated. Then I have the controller here. Let's see the model first. 
models i have used a token model because it's a new table i have created and i have created the model also and use this user function here which belongs to relationship with the user table and all these models are already there password reset this is the model i have created it's just the fillable property and the hidden property i have added here let's see the controller main controller is auth controller and home controller i have created for the home home page and the dashboard dashboard is to be shown when user is logged in let's see the auth controller here index method for the login then once login is submitted login is uh, submitted form is submitted then we are doing a processing here for the login now here one thing you have to just check whether email is verified the person who is logged in who is trying to log in whether his or her email id is verified or not first we have to check that because sometimes user might register but email id is not verified it's still pending so we should not allow to log in so in that case we should give a message saying that your email id is not verified so here i am first checking whether email id exist or not if not exist i am giving a message email id not registered but if it is registered then i am proceeding to check password authentication and everything so if password is fine is correct then i am redirecting the user to the dashboard otherwise giving a message now if email id is not verified then in that case i am creating a random token and then it's is stored in the user token table and then sending a mail to the user so once user gets the email clicks on it email will be verified here i am giving the message email id is not verified so i send a message to the uh, user with the token so that user can verify the email before logging and register method post register where met registration submission we are validating the input fields and then saving in the user table but here we are creating a token here because we need to verify the user's email so we creating a random token here and storing it in user token table and sending an email and giving a message to the user now when user clicks on the verify email link from his or her email then we call this method verify email with the token as input parameter so we just first check whether the text token exist or not if it exist then we will just update users table see here verify user is user token and then we, we are using user method from the uh, controller belongs to user relationship here and then updating the email verified at with the current time and then sub updating it after that we are deleting the token and logging user is logged in here we are making user login into the system and giving a message here we have checked that if verify email is not found token is not found here then we must give a message saying that invalid token or something or email cannot be verified show error page i have just given just to show the error page change password form here let's see when password change password form is submitted here we are standard change password form we are just doing some validation here forget password form forget password when user clicks on forget password in the login form login page then we just first validate 
the email id because user has to enter the email id and then creating a token and storing it in the password reset table and sending an email with the link saying that uh, to reset the password and once user clicks on the reset password the reset password form is open and then when he submits this reset password post method is called and password is reset here here also we are just checking if the token is correct for that email id and we are checking whether email and token matching if it matches then we will update the new password and then log out so these are the con these are the controllers so we will just see the here yeah, let's see the resources views views standard views are there auth change password forget password login register and reset password i have used two views for the emails one for forget password and one for verify email and layout standard layout i have used header footer and master in the master layout i am showing if you see here this layout here if you see website logo login register these are actually coming from the master so master layout i have used here we are checking whether email user is logged in or not if it is logged in we are showing the user name and then log out and change password otherwise login and registration dashboard is simple dashboard i am just printing an h1 heading here similarly error page and index also i am showing here h1 home let's see the routes here so first set of routes here is when user is not logged in like login register verify token forget password reset password all these are we don't need an authentication but for logout dashboard and change password we have used a middleware laravel middleware auth web so these are the routes so this way you can develop the custom login or custom authentication in laravel if you think it is useful for you just give a like to the video and channel subscribe the channel and i have given the topic link for this video in my website codehowto.com you can see the link in the description of this video you can see the step by step description or explanation given for this topic you can download the code from the git also hope it will be useful for you thank you